We are back at it again here with another video with the Invest for Tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. I'll ask for returns for the smash that like button to them when you watch this video. Helps out the YouTube channel and lets me know you'll appreciate the time and effort I put into making these videos. So here we are with RDBX, Redbox Entertainment Inc. And the stock is sitting sideways between yesterday and today, but slightly pulling downwards today. Now, it was not the only stock falling. The overall market and the SPY fell as well. And our spy bot since 7.05 a.m. sent us out a bear indicator. And from that moment forward towards the bell and after the bell, things continue to pull downwards. And put options went up 150 to 200% plus within hours. And this is our new release that allows us to have an edge within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities, whether stocks are going up or going down. And you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected to the spy bot, the QQQ bot, our newly released Tesla bot, and we have other bots on the way so that you can receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the markets. And you can now join the members using these resources to maximize in either direction by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts. So RDBX, Redbox Entertainment Inc. is trying to bounce back from the support that it's forming today. We're gonna break down some key levels, but before we do, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunity I mentioned this morning over at the Discord. So the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. And we strive for opportunities like these every single day. So these are the two stocks I mentioned this morning, and both of them gave jumps at 3 to 5%, 5 to 10% plus. But one of them turned out to be a home run, and that was EFOI. We caught this one in the pre-market as it was pulling downwards towards the bell, sat sideways a few minutes after the bell, and finally got strength there on 42 vision plus a bull indicator. And you could see that full move within minutes, giving a highest point of 40% plus, guys. If you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. We look forward to having you join us, and we strive for opportunities like these every single day let's jump into these charts so here we are with rdbx redbox entertainment inc and as i stated earlier in the video trying to build support here and bounce off of it to the upside we're going to talk about some articles and data points and what the charts are showing i'm going to pull up the bull and bear indicators which you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected to the spy bot the qqq bot our newly released tesla bot and we have other bots on the way so that you can receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities whether stocks are going up or going down and you can now join the members using these resources maximizing in either direction by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts so rdbx was under a bull indicator from 575 on June 2nd yesterday in the pre-market and it lasted all the way up to the highs here of about 757 before things started shifting downwards and now it got a bear indicator towards the end of the day yesterday and within the volatility it has been putting pressure on the chart right at 662.63 give or take and right now we're slightly below it and we hit lows of about six dollars which we talked about the support levels in yesterday's video now we need to talk about the bigger time frames and then we're going to break down what key levels to watch here based off the chart the first thing is the four hour it's still showing a bear indicator since way up here at 685 within the volatility and we shifted from green bars to red bars right and we need to watch this carefully because if it could continue to go back up that bear indicator could eventually get canceled out by another bull indicator but right now this bear indicator is the first one that we've seen in weeks and it's trying to dominate over the chart so we need to watch that carefully on the four hour now on the one day we still have a bull indicator since four dollars and 13 cents but we have shifted from bright green to bright green with red borders to red bars but if you look at these red bars they're kind of sitting sideways we do not see them really going too much to the downside or too much to the upside we need to see who's going to dominate in this chart because any bigger pullback to the downside not just on the four hour not just on the 30 minute but on the one day to the downside could affect this chart and eventually cancel out this bull indicator by getting another bear indicator in the process of a possible pullback okay 
So this is why we're going to talk about supports and resistance based off the 30 minute and what the 15 minute is showing in the volatility, right? So in the zoomed out picture, bear indicator, but trying to fight back up. And why are these levels continuing to reject like it rejected up here and rejected down here? Well, it has to do with this right here. These headlines that keep coming up and specifically Zach's investment research has had the biggest impact on 526 and 62 of 2022. The first point was when they put it from a sell to hold rating and the hold consensus price target was around 957. So you could see it there, right? The average price target of the hold analysis ratings. If you come back to the chart, we rejected a little bit below 950 on the 26 and things started going downwards and the shift began right that bear indicator bright green bars and a full transition to white with red borders that's the whole point of 42 vision and the bull and bear indicators right to be able to get that extra layer of confirmation when things are starting to pop up with strength and get that extra layer of confirmation when things are starting to go into weakness and hit the dip area and once we hit that dip area there tends to be a reversal and some reversals are stronger than others and some are weaker than others and as you can see it here in the whole entire bigger picture you see those reversals happening and then same thing after a bull indicator like this one right here from the dip area to the rip area and the extra layer of confirmation with the bull indicator right that's the whole goal here with 42 vision and we look at it and the first point that things rejected was on the 26th and the second time has now been on June 2nd after this analysis rating going from a hold rating to a sell rating. So now Zach's investment research put a cap at 950 and now they're putting the cap even lower because the consensus price target is a lot lower than the hold right for the sell consensus. So very interesting how these two articles are mixing and matching within just a few different dates and b riley went from neutral to sell rating as well the date after zach's investment research went from sell to hold and this is where the pressure and the shorts have been taking advantage of these key levels and the charts and 42 vision have shown it right now the fact that it hit this dip area and it did a full transition there and things have pulled back down and we have a bear indicator right now we're in the middle of things and it's going to take a lot more strength to pull it upwards than to pull it downwards because we're under a bear indicator and we are on red bars the next point after the red bars if it continues downwards is white with red borders and as we saw in the bigger time frames the stock is under pressure and it needs to reverse right back up and get those bull indicators except for the one day right the one day is still under a bull indicator but we need the four hour to actually pop up with a bull indicator and cancel out this bear indicator in the process so let's talk about some key levels of resistance and support and the biggest thing that everyone's speculating on rdbx and redbox entertainment inc going even higher is because of these type of headings here in between all the volatility it is still one of the top short squeeze stocks with 180% of the float that is short and a borrow fee rate that's over 700% at the date of this posting. And this was just a few days back on June 1st, right? As you can see it here, it says two days ago of the posting. So super important to realize that this is all up to date news and there's a lot of speculation for the short squeeze and also based off the data. And then also you have different analysis ratings actually cutting their analysis ratings and putting pressure to the downside, trying to give some leverage to the shorts, which is very interesting in the timing of everything happening. And then the overall picture of the data in the short interest and the float, as well as the borrow fee rate. So the first thing is the support, $6. We need to stay above that. If it breaks through that, this could go even lower. And the next support will be down here at 552. And worst case scenario, $5, as I talked about in yesterday's video. That will be the key level I'll be watching going into next week. And to the upside, we need a break above the high of the day, 714, before talking about the high of yesterday at 755. And most importantly, 785, that rejected two times and things continue to go even lower. So 
those are the key levels to the upside and to the downside that I'm watching. What do you guys think about these analysis ratings? Because it's very interesting, the timing and how things are moving. But I'm going to continue to look at 42 Vision within the volatility as well as the 15 minute to see if a bull indicator pops up after canceling out this bear indicator and this move continuing with the shifts and transitions going from red to red with green bars and hopefully dark green and bright green as we've seen before when there's strength.